All right, fine. Let's talk about Harvey. Mm. So guess what he's been up to? What? He found the master tapes for his father's solo album. He's working on buying them. He's been trying to find them ever since he lost his father. Oh, I see why you're telling me this. You're trying to humanize Harvey because you're afraid of what this fight is going to do to us. I'm afraid because of what it's already doing to you. I'm talking Ali Frazier. Come on, Donna. Listen to me. They started out like brothers, then they went toe to toe three times, and Joe Frazier went to his grave hating Muhammad Ali. I didn't know you were a boxing fan. I'm a Harvey fan. So am I. And that's why I'm giving him my best. Thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. Let me guess, this is about Walter Gillis. No, it's not about Walter. It's about the line of credit that you're about to stop giving him. And why on earth would I do that? Because if you don't, I have a feeling that every Pearson Spectre client that you currently do business with suddenly going to move their accounts to Chase. You really want to cripple his company that badly? His company's already dead. It just doesn't know it yet. That doesn't give you the right to threaten me. If I were threatening you, I'd come right out and say it. If you don't do this tomorrow morning, you lose $2 billion worth of deposits. You son of a bitch. That he is. What are you doing here, Mike? What do you mean? I just came for the Brussels sprouts. You know how I know how good they are? How? Because this is where Harvey brings bankers to strong arm them into doing some bullshit. Don't listen to him. No, he should listen to me. I'm Walter Gillis's partner. And if he cuts off our funding at any point in the next two months following this lunch, then the next time you're talking about these Brussels sprouts, we'll be in front of a grand jury. What happened to going below the belt? I went below the belt. The referee stepped in and threw a grand jury in my face. Well, I wasn't asking you to go below the belt with the company. I was asking you to go below the belt with Ross. What are you talking about? I'm saying you hire a private investigator to find every skeleton in his closet. He wakes up in the morning, and it's all over the front page. Logan, that's not going below the belt. That's just nuts. You're full of shit. You don't want to do this because you don't have the stomach to do it to your boy. No, I don't want to do it because we're on a path to win this thing. And I let you bait me into doing what I already did because I thought you were just a little impatient. But now I'm starting to realize what it really is. What is that? Who's full of shit now? This has nothing to do with Rachel. You got there pretty damn fast. Hey, I asked you to put Mike Ross down with one punch. You said you would, and you didn't. So either do what I'm asking, or I'll do it myself. I came here to tell you something man to man because I know what this company means to you. If you knew what this company meant to me, you wouldn't be trying to steal it. Walter, I know how your son died. Get the hell out of my office. Not before I tell you that Mike Ross was a drug dealer. Bullsh**, he was. And I'm calling security, and if you're not gone by the time they get here, their job's going to be getting me off you. Fine, I'll go, but ask him. Ask him if he ever dealt drugs. Ask him if he ever refused to take a drug test. Ask him if he was ever high at work. I said get out. And ask him if on the very day he came to me looking for a job, he had a briefcase filled with marijuana. This is how you do this. Come here man to man and use my son's death to take my company from me. Well, you are nothing but a piece of shit. You're right, I am a piece of shit. But that doesn't make what I'm telling you any less true. Get up. You here to fight me? Oh, should I wait for you to turn your back? That seems to be more your speed. I'm sorry, were you expecting me to give you a call? No, I was expecting you to be a human being. From where I'm sitting, I was a goddamn saint. Oh yeah? How's that? If I didn't do what I did, Logan was gonna hire a private investigator to smear you up and down the block. So what? You know what? I shot you in the knees so he wouldn't shoot you in the face. You're welcome. You know what, Harvey? I'm gonna take a pass on the thank you and instead skip right to the part where I call you a piece of shit. You know what? I'm getting a little tired of hearing that. What does that make you? For threatening to bring criminal charges in that restaurant. You deserved criminal charges for what you were doing in that restaurant. You didn't have a problem when we did it seven months ago to the guy from Leeds. Seven months ago, you weren't lying to somebody about me. I didn't lie. And seven months ago, you were goddamn here. So that's what this is about. You can't stand that I got out of here and that I'm succeeding without you. Without me? I made you. Without me, you're nothing. Right there. That's who you are. That's why I left. Bullshit. Don't lay that on me. 
You left because you needed to feed that huge ego. Ego? Ego, if I stayed here, you know what would have been hanging over my head for the rest of my life. Which is why I told you to move somewhere. Nobody ever knew you, but you stayed here. So that thing is still over your goddamn head and I stopped it. I don't care what you think you stopped. You're gonna go to Walter Gillis and you're gonna make this thing right. It is right. It's over, you lost. Nothing's over. And you're the one who lost something today. What are you talking about? You went personal, I went personal. Your father's master tapes? I've got them. Those tapes have nothing to do with this deal. They do now. You came in here wanting an explanation for why you did what you did, and you threw gas on the fire. I gave him an explanation. Yeah. You told him he was nothing. You know what? About a half an hour ago, you told me this was all your fault. A half an hour ago, I was thinking about what I did. I wasn't thinking about what you said to him. It doesn't matter what I said to him. I saved him. Harvey, you said before if it had been anybody other than Mike, you would have done what Logan wanted without blinking an eye. Well, if anybody other than Mike had walked in here the way he did, you would have shown him the tiniest bit of compassion. He bought those tapes before he ever walked in here. Those tapes were not the first thing that he told you about. But you made damn sure they were the last. So you just flagged me down to call me an asshole? No, I flagged you down to tell you that he's not gonna listen to you. But he might listen to somebody else. Remember when you said, if I want you to deliver a message to Mike, I should come to you directly? You want me to get him to give up? If Mike doesn't give up tonight, Logan is gonna hire someone to dig up everything they can on him. That's why he went to kill us. You had no choice. It's not the way Mike saw it. You know, you could have come to me before you did that. I'm coming to you now. You say you're a changed man, but what you're doing now, it's, it's not a change for the better, it's for the worse. You told me this wasn't gonna be a problem. And you stood right here and told me that you didn't love your wife. And then three months later, you asked me to lie for you so you could get her back. Rachel. You don't have to stop this because you're some changed man. You have to stop this, Logan, because you owe me. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? Came to see you. I have a meeting. I came to apologize. For what? For trying to win dirty. I can't undo what I've already done, but I can stop doing it. I don't want to win that way. That sounds like something your publicist would tell Forbes. Why don't you tell me why you're really here? You want the truth? I don't want to hurt Rachel. Get me a present? It's from Mike. It's my dad's tapes. He said they're yours. You got him to back down. No, but I got Logan to back off. How'd you manage that? It's between me and my client. You know, you could have come to me first. I'm coming to you now. <laughs> 